All righty, so I have a increase in capacity update, if you want to call it that, on Canada's Wonderland. So um, this week or today, this was filmed on July 26, uh, 2021, and it is notably a lot busier at Canada's Wonderland this week. Um, and we know that Canada's Wonderland was increasing its capacity slowly over the next two weeks and that started a couple weeks ago so i'm assuming that canada's wonderland is approaching 75 percent capacity on their booking system they weren't fully booked but half the lot was almost full and the other half was half full so they're definitely getting up there in terms of capacity um what does that mean for rides well i'm going to tell you between 1 p.m and 5 p.m the rides are going to be absolutely insane but from 10 a.m to 1 p.m the rides are virtually walk-ons and still after 5 p.m the park starts to die down so i can tell you that Dragonfire was a walk-on all the flat rides were a walk-on i don't care what any other youtuber has to tell you about their poor visit at canada's wonderland it is still an amazing place and very easy to get a lot of rides done if you plan your trip well so please listen to this video because i got some good advice for you i went there today um, and i filmed this complete walk through the park just to show that i am not lying it was filmed today on july 26 because as you can tell sledgehammer is running um, which is other good news it looks like sledgehammer is getting its cycles in um, and usually wonderland does testing of rides and training of employees in two day segments sometimes three um, so it could open any day now so keep your eyes out on our instagram story follow us amusement insiders plural on instagram and we'll update you guys as soon as we find out that this ride is open and the 40th anniversary store that is still not open um but yeah sledgehammer is running and it did fault before our eyes um so obviously they still have some work and kinks to work on that ride with um but nonetheless um a few rides that i can confirm were walk-ons obviously behemoth and leviathan did have full queues when i arrived around 5 p.m um and yukon was about half full and uh, the single rider line on Yukon is open and uh, very convenient. So if you don't have fast lane, single rider line on Yukon will definitely work in your favor. And outside of that, all the other older attractions besides the bat, for obvious reasons, um, have pretty much walk on. Dragonfire again, walk on. Um, Cyclone. Uh, had a half full queue and definitely slower in terms of operations. Some of the flat rides do have slower operations, especially Riptide, but Riptide half full queue line um shockwave another flat flat ride that everyone loves walk on um clockworks pretty much walk on thunder run half full queue um not filling up under the station and uh yeah so there are things you can do vortex had just the portion underneath the ride with socially distanced queue line so you would get on that in about 15 minutes we did test that out um, a bit ago and it wasn't even socially distanced when we tested it out so with socially distance you could get on it even in 10 minutes so definitely worth the visit i definitely think that um, anyone that is really complaining about canada's wonderland is forgetting the fact that th we have only been open for literally a month the park has been open for a month um, there is a staff shortage like any industry anyone that has a retail job or a restaurant job um, you can understand fully what's going on at Canada's Wonder, and there's staffing issues everywhere. This is not a problem directly or only at Canada's Wonderland. So um, I definitely think that people need to be giving the park a break. And it does truly upset me when I do see people complaining so soon about their visit to Canada's Wonderland. I think that you're a bit spoiled. Um, in terms of your expectations coming out of a pandemic for a park that's been closed for over a year. But nonetheless, I'm not going to get too much into that. You guys already know my videos. Um, obviously, the food and beverage lines are extremely long. So if you're going to Canada's Wonderland, there are places that have shorter lines throughout the day. A lot of people will message me and be like, oh my god, I waited 30 minutes for my food. Um, Craig and I have definitely seen lines that could end up even being an hour long in terms of waiting, but you just got to plan your day. Everyone at Wonderland seems to eat and drink at the same time. Now, I will say the drink lines for drink plans were very long everywhere, but I will tell you if you see a really long line, especially at the drink place next to Leviathan, 
wait it out. It is very quick moving. Some others not as quick moving, but the one at Leviathan can be extremely quick moving. Um, and again, if you see a lot of restaurants short staffed and all that, that's occurring everywhere. I run a restaurant myself and I can tell you very short on staff and it's not just my restaurant, it's every restaurant. So definitely, again, if you work in retail and all that, I know that you understand and you're probably very um, understanding of the situation going on, but it, you definitely just, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. It's just frustrating and you just its you just got to understand that this is going to be the way for this season at Canada's Wonderland and anywhere you go, any restaurant you go, um, you'll notice longer waits, you'll notice um, just understaffing. So again, uh, there's ways around it. So my best advice for anyone that sees a long line, go um, walk around the park once. You will find a restaurant with a shorter line. If you're looking for awesome food, La Catina uh, near the front gate, best restaurant uh, in the park next to Muskoka Burgery, Brewery and Burgers. Um, but Muskoka Brewery and Burgers definitely has a really long wait, but it is made fresh. Um, but La Cantina is super amazing. And today we literally waited 10 minutes, not even for our food. So um, for an example, we saw long lines everywhere, but we were able to find amazing food for only waiting 10 minutes. You just got to look, you just got to browse. Um, and yeah, outside of that, I don't have any more advice in terms of food and beverage um, and rides. Again, there are definitely uh, ways for you to enjoy the park. I would suggest 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Arrive right away at 10 a.m. And then also from 5 p.m. onward, the park starts to die down because people get, you know, a little sick of the sun, especially in heat like today, and they need to go home or people want to go home for dinner. Um, outside of that, uh, the park is definitely feeling busier. I don't know if you can tell by this video, but it felt a lot busier today. And um, it was, I mean, we didn't have any problems. People are obviously walking around without masks, which freedom to them, you have the right to do. Um, you are outdoors. Uh, there were definitely times where I kept my mask on, I will say. Um, and there were times, you know, obviously in the heat, I removed it. I have no problem with anyone doing either or. Um, and here is one of the drink lines here too. So you look at this, the average person would assume that's gonna take you an hour to get your drink, but it's gonna take you 15 minutes max. Um, it moves very quickly. The Leviathan line, again, this is filmed right at 5 p.m., definitely very, very long and definitely starting to look like pre-COVID season as we approach the 75% capacity. I'm not quite sure if they're fully there yet, but we are definitely getting closer. You can tell by the parking lot. You can tell by the park vibes. Um, and yeah, none of the indoor restaurants are open. Again, they're obviously probably focusing on staffing their restaurants that are outdoors and easier accessible. I also think that Wonderland doesn't want to um, maybe struggle with the indoor measures because I actually, we were talking about it as a group and that could get very confusing and frustrating having to you know manage the indoor restaurants, spacing, um, masks being worn until you're sitting down and eating. So they might be just focusing on their outdoor restaurants. Um, we did receive a DM uh, complaining about the restaurants that are open. There are a lot of varieties open. There are literally just two indoor restaurants that aren't open. Um, so definitely a lot of places to choose from. You can get pizza, you can get hot dogs, you can get sausages, you can get chicken fingers and fries, chicken burgers, chicken wraps, um, La Catina, um, fresh made burgers. Uh, you can get beer, you can get drinks. Um, there's lots of choices for you in the park. There's even gluten-free options, vegetarian options, vegan options. Um, and there on, there's lots of desserts around the park. You definitely got to try out some of their new desserts at the Mountain Cafe and Bakery. Definitely love the blue ice cream and the new Cookie Witch. It is really improved in my opinions. They even make them like blizzards now on the inside of the Cookie Witch. So got to try that out. Super awesome. But yeah, nonetheless, hopefully this video helps you see get a vibe of what Canada's Wonderland looks like in the approaching 75% capacity. Um, and yeah, we will be there on Wednesday filming our attempt at 100 rides on Time Warp. Um, so we will be there all day filming at Time Warp and trying to get 100 rides on it as a team. 
Um, and yeah, I don't think that's going to go well, but whatever gives you guys entertainment and uh, keeps us occupied um, at Wonderland. So super excited about that, to be honest. I know that sounds like torture, but I am actually excited for that because I think that's going to be a hilarious video. Um, and yeah, thank you for everyone who's partaked in our giveaway on our video. It's uh, doing extremely well. And you guys helped us hit 21,000 subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. So thank you so much. That honestly means so much to me. Um, and I just am going to keep giving you guys the content you're asking for. Lots of people really like these walkthrough videos showing what the park atmosphere is like and everything. And uh, again, super awesome. I mean, even just like the vibes in the park, if you just saw one of the high divers just ran over to a family with some kids because the kids were just like really talking out loud about the high dive show and how much they enjoyed it. And the diver ran over and introduced himself. It was just really awesome. I just love everything about Canada's Wonderland. There's so much for you to just notice. Like the workers at Canada's Wonderland are absolutely amazing this season. We've had some of the best experiences we've ever had with the food and beverage teams. They've been super apologetic apologetic if you even wait like over five minutes which i'm sorry like most restaurants are waiting over five minutes they're super talkative we've gotten to know so many of them and just even like the rides department just seeing how quickly they've been learning and like improving and their customer service is honestly really good this season again you just got to look for the positives if you're seeking out negatives and you're already in a bad mood or you already are looking for negatives about Candace winter then that's all you're going to find and that's all you're going to find anywhere you go in life. I could literally walk into a place and if I'm in a bad mood, I'm going to focus on the negative. It's happened to me many times. I'm not pointing the finger at anyone at all because trust me, I totally get it. Um, I've been stuck for years in a negative mindset where all I focus on are negative situations and negative things. And it just really like sucks the life out of anything fun. And again, I, I'm going to stand by this comment. If you are disappointed in Canada's Wonderland this season, don't go. It's literally so frustrating. We've been locked away for a year and a half, okay? And Canada's Wonderland is finally open. You finally have something to do. You're outdoors riding the rides we haven't been on. Get over it. Enjoy your visit. There are things to enjoy about Canada's Wonderland. There are lots of things to enjoy about Canada's Wonderland. Um, and if you're sitting there focused on long lines for food and beverage, I'm sorry, it's not the park for you to be at this season. Wait till 2022 then. And full honesty, I totally understand these complaints in any other season outside of COVID. So if you are upset about long lines for food and the park isn't getting a hold of it in 2022, 2023, totally understand that opinion and uh, probably feel the same way as you and totally respect your opinions and your right to speak out on that. But right now, take a step back. Enjoy the world we live in. You survived. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm ranting. Some of you probably are still here listening. Some of you are probably already unclicked from the video being like boring. Totally get it. Thank you so much for 21,000 subscribers. Thank you so much for entering in our giveaway. Um, and yeah, comment down below if you have any suggestions for uh, content you'd like to see or any videos you'd like to see. Trust me, I listen to a lot of these and we have content coming from a lot of these uh, comment sections. I have a whole folder now for the first time ever. I have a whole folder of content that's ready to launch. We already have some ride punishment ready to go. One of the best ones we've ever filmed. Uh, ready to go as well so super excited to share that stuff with you guys and just like really appreciative of like all the suggestions and comments down below thanks so much obviously if i haven't answered any of the questions comments or concerns in this video comment down below and i'll try my best to respond to them if you have any questions about reservations or anything i have a lot of advice and definitely um some tips for you guys so definitely ask below thanks so much for watching guys have a good one bye